what I typically find is security teams that look to IT security metrics or IT threats and try to wholesale copy paste that into the ICS. And while that'll get us somewhere in the discussion, we have different things that happen in our environment. I constantly see things like uh, the ICS cert metrics, which are really good and a lot of good focus goes on there, but they tell a different story than I think most people realize. So I pulled these from the 2015 year in review. Uh, the 2014 year in review is the exact same in the construct that the number one attack vector, the number one infection vector is unknown. Well, that's, that's not great. Uh, the number two is spear phishing, which would make a lot of sense if we had email servers and SCADA environments, but we don't. Uh, what the metrics typically actually say, and you can kind of see it in the second graph, is when we see infections or threats in our environment, it's because they came through IT. Uh, but if they're already in the environment, we don't necessarily know how they got there. It's a small sample size, uh, yet it gives a, a good understanding of the, the volume uh, of P infectors that are out there that are directly tied to ICS files. So we're not talking about tens, we're not talking about hundreds, uh, we're in the thousands over uh, approximately a 100-day or, or 100 period, uh, which I, I found interesting. Like mm -hmm. We never really had a number to put to that. Maybe it was a really bad uh, couple months, though. No, I think, it, yeah, go ahead. So if we then take that chart and spread it out by vendor, I don't have the vendor names listed here, uh, but I was curious just to see what the differences uh, based on the, the actual ICS vendor look like uh, as far as infection rates uh, and if there would be any, any differences. Um, and, and there, as you can see, some, some notable differences as well as counts.